Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, it's Sue from Mixed Media Craft Time and I'm thinking I actually have my first entry for my 100 subscriber challenge giveaway which was to send something vintage-y or vintage sort of look-alike or um, something of that um, vintage colouring. Um, and I have a journal and I'm going to throw in some other little bits and pieces too um, as the prize. So I'm thinking this might be my first entry because it's from a lady who um, is a new subscriber to my channel. So welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy um, what you're finding on my channel. Now I'm <coughs> just open that. Nice and easy to open. brown package and it says hi Sue this is my entry for your 100 plus subscriber challenge giveaway um, I'm sorry I can't make a VR because I don't have a clue how to do one I hope the enclosed is what you're looking for <coughs> excuse me um, that's perfectly fine um, I did notice that you didn't do videos on your channel so that's fine um, I'm just glad that somebody sent something for my challenge it's always a little bit, um, I think, you know, scary maybe when you first do this, as it's my first challenge. Um, and I haven't been doing this very long myself. So, and I do remember the first time I did a video, I was very nervous. Um, still get nervous sometimes too, of course. Oh, we have lots of goodies in here. Oh wow, oh look at that, she's made a pocket and it's made out of music, sheet music and that is absolutely awesome, just very gently, not sure how to pull it out, oh here we go, it's, oh it's got several, several pockets within here, there's I think three lots, so you've got the back section, one, two, three lots to, three little pockets to put things in. And she's used some um, trim there. And that very tiny sort of trim along there. That is very tiny. That's absolutely amazing. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so thank you Beth for that. Now what have we got here? Hoskins Street, Dr. Two Odea Brothers Iron Mongers Grocers. Oh wow. 1965. It's younger than me. Oh. Okay. Goods. Oh wow. Where on earth do you get this from? Because you're from Australia. I think South Australia it was. So where on earth do you get this sort of thing from? That is so cool. I love that. What else we got? This is really exciting for me. Timora. It's the same place. Hoskin Street, Timora. And it's got stamp there that looks like a stamp duty 1962 wow hmm. 1946 oh my goodness where on earth you've really got to tell me where you get this from Australian Mutual Provident Society. Fifty six. Thirteenth of March, fifty six. It looks like it's a policy for well, a 
obviously health, uh, life insurance or something. Wow. Gee, a little bit different to the documents we get for that sort of thing nowadays. My goodness. Oh, we have a photo. Beth, this is absolutely awesome. This is so much more than I ever expected. So thank you so much. Bonus certificate. This is from the same company this is. And it's the same person. Wow. Sorry, I could spend ages sitting here looking at them. And we've got the envelope that I'm thinking maybe had that those sort of things in there. 26th of June, 64. Ooh, close to an old form. Ah, oh, we have a book. Some sort of a ledger. Look how amazing the writing is. People knew how to write in the, uh, the old days. So neat and tidy and precise. The paper's quite thick and it's, it's very glossy as well. we have. Notice of grant of pension. <clears throat> and just open it carefully. Okay. All the amounts are in, um, I think they're pounds. I'm actually not that old that I know how to read them. <laughs> 1961 Department of Social Services It says you must notify the department of any change in your income and or property as specified here under. So it looks like it might be some sort of, well it might be his pension um, notification. Yep, notice your pensioner. Huh. You have to notify them within 14 days if you marry, remarry or become divorced. Or you cease to live with or cease to live apart from your wife or husband. Your wife or husband dies. Oh my goodness. These are absolutely amazing, Beth. Thank you so much for sending these. I can't believe you have them. I don't know how you would get them. I've never come across anything like this in Australia. Now this is a different person, but it's from, it looks like it's from Timora again. For electricity, I think it's an electricity bill. Not sure how to read it, it's 5.7.6. I don't know how to read that. But you can bet it's a lot cheaper than my electricity bills at the moment. <clears throat> Sorry, I hope I've been in shot this whole time. 1962 again. And the old carbon paper. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm totally blown away. Thank you very much, Beth. Um, that was the most brilliant first entry in my challenge and so much more than I ever expected. So thank you once again. And thank you everyone for um, watching and thank you to all my new subscribers too. I've had quite a few in the last couple of weeks. So thank you. I hope you enjoy some of the videos that I'm, I do. Um, I'm hoping to upload some more in the next few days as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and thank you once again. Bye for now.